Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. In the past, I've done several tutorials about extracting a dynamic list, and I'll put a link to those tutorials below. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to extract a dynamic list that has multiple columns, but the columns are not contiguous with the ones that I want to extract, and we'll do it all with one formula and also sort those based on the criteria of one of the columns. This is a trick I learned from Layla Garani from Excel Plus, and I'll put a link to her version of this below. So let's see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a small data set here that has territory, location, etc., and I want to pull into columns K through N, just these four columns, territory, location, started, and sales, only for items that have sales in column F, and I want those sales sorted from largest to smallest. So we are going to use the filter and sort functions from Excel, and these are functions that are only available in Office 365. So if you have earlier versions of Excel, you won't have the ability to perform this. But let's take a look and see how we can do this using the filter and sort functions. I'm going to go into cell K2 and type equals filter tab. My array is going to be this whole range here, and I'll lock that with F4 comma, I want to include any items where the sales, so that's F2 to F6, again lock that, is greater than zero. I close that, hit enter, now I get all the items from that table that have sales greater than zero, unfortunately I get all six columns worth of data. Now, how can we filter these down to four? Well, what we can do is add another filter function. So I'm going to click right behind the equal sign, hit filter, tab. Our, my previous filter function is my array. I'll hit comma, and now we're going to use an array constant in order to define which columns we want to pull in. So in order to use an array constant, we need to use these curly brackets. And we had previously six different columns, and we only want to pull in four. We want to pull in columns one, two, four, and six. So what we put in the array constant is a one, which equals true for every one of those columns, and a zero, which equals false for the ones I don't want. So I'm going to put a 1, comma, 1 for the location. Code I don't want, so I'm going to put a 0, comma, started. I do want that one. I'll put a 1. Taxable, again, a 0, comma, and then a 1 for sales. I'll close my curly brackets, close my filter function, and hit Enter. And notice it only pulled in those four columns where I indicated with a one in my array constant and did not pull in the ones that I had a zero. Lastly, if I want to sort this based on the sales, all I'll do is again click behind my equal sign, type sort, tab, go to the end, comma, what's my sorting index? That's column four, which is the sales column, and do I want it in descending or ascending order? I'm going to put in minus 1 to put it in descending order. Close that. Hit enter. And now that filtered data only pulls in those four columns and sorts the data in descending order by the sales number. And that's how easy that is to do in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy Excelling.